Sharon Reed, ABC News. The following is a paid political announcement from the campaign to elect Frederick Doyle. This is Frederick J. Doyle coming to you this morning, October 22nd, 2011, to ask for your support in the upcoming election, November 8th. I want to be one of your nine if elected. I won't be running the city, but I'll be the one protecting you. And our current economic climate, seniors and young families are like us struggling to stay in their homes. Jobs are being lost, costs of living adjustments have been zero percent for the last three years, and incomes are down across the board for low residents, and people lose their jobs or have their hours cut back. With this background, the current administration has decided to keep digging deeper into the taxpayers' pockets and raising property taxes and fees every year. Now, over the past three weeks, I've come out hard-hitting against the city manager and the city council for what I see as gross mismanagement of our budget and taxes and operational mismanagement of our city hall and political backroom deals that have hurt our retired city workers and the taxpayers all over the city. Management of our budget. The city budget is a mess. The managers were given a free hand to raise taxes without accounting for where it goes and why revenue is down. The current crop of councilors does nothing to keep them in check. The city was owed $250,000 in permit fees from the Federal Housing Authority and the city manager added their permits issued for $25,000, only the city losing $225,000 that it could reduce your taxes. You and I still have to pay for a rate for hours, but friends of Bernie get a 90% discount at City Hall. The pattern at City Hall has been predictable. A 2.5% tax rate increase every year, hiring of unqualified people and raises for all of Friends of Bernie. Pay for on the backs of the people struggling to pay to stay in their homes. Let's be clear. While he raised your fees every year and your taxes 2.5% every year for five years compounded, that's over 13%. He took a pay raise, and then he told you, the times are tight. No kidding. You pay taxes here, the city manager doesn't. Now we get to inspectional services, a mess. The city manager hired one of the insiders and inserted them into the development inspectional service, but they weren't qualified. Law is a laughing stock of the region. We have only departments where the one inspector qualified as a building commissioner has to operate to two levels of supervisors who are not. Talk about cronyism. The message in Lowell is clear. Qualifications don't matter. There should be a sign in front of City Hall. Lowellians need not apply. So as long as you don't live in Lowell, being a political ally is more important. The Lowell Sun reported that several councils said privately are embarrassed that a certified worker reports to uncertified department heads and also wonder why the unqualified commissioner was hired when your trash fees went up. Your water and sewer kept going up. Your property taxes are going up faster than inflation and faster than your income. Our elderly are losing ground every day. They have to give up their homes because they can't pay their taxes. The trash fees, water fees, sewage fees, and out-of-control government spending. Pretty soon we'll be taxing the elderly just for getting out of bed in the morning. City spending has increased from $250 million per year when the city manager took over to over $300 million, a 25% increase. You didn't get a 25% increase. In spite of this, they sit quietly in every Tuesday meeting and do nothing, a bunch of rubber stamps. Why does this matter to you at all? These people have a hand in your pocket for too long, and no one is protecting your wallet. No one is protecting the elderly on fixed income, where taxes and fees have been climbing every year while their income has stayed flat. No one is protecting a young family with two kids who has chosen between paying their rising property tax or paying for a dentist bill. No one is protecting the taxpayer. Who is lucky if they still have a job? I'm Fred Doyle, and I'll protect you every Tuesday night in the city council if elected to the city council. I am telling you how things are. It's a fact. It's true. Watch your newspaper Sunday, and it'll back up everything I've said on these radio broadcasts since I come on. This city is going down the drain under this administration. This manager has to go. You have to cut the head off the snake and defeat the city council, or they're sending us down the road where we're going to have a hard time even buying bread on our table. Thank you for listening. This is Fred Doyle. I'll be back next week. And watch your Lowell Sun Sunday, and it'll prove what I've been saying right along. And Mr. Manager, 10 days now. When are we going to take that lie detector? Step up, you coward. I'm ready, and I'm ready and willing and able. If I have to pay for it, I'll pay for it. Step up, you're a coward. Thank you for listening. I'll be back next Saturday. Thank you. The preceding has been a paid political announcement from the campaign to elect Frederick Doyle. Now.